finding those elusive clicks and pops even if they're hiding in your S's and other places that you can't find them. Hello, fellow LibriVoxers. Uh, this is Phil Chenevere, the L what am I? The LibriVox video guy. Um, and I was editing a track earlier today, and I realized that I was using a technique to find the clicks and pops that I make all the time and take them out. And uh, it took me, I would say, close to nine months to realize a a more efficient way of finding these things, because sometimes they're hidden. So, uh, by the way, these little excerpts are from that track <clears throat> to give you an indication of how many clicks and pops I make. I'm going to listen to this one right here. And he listened, sometimes politely, in particular. So there's one up in the front here. Let me and he listened, right sometimes there. politely, in particular. So I would go in, of course, it's very obvious. I would click right near this pop. It's an obvious pop. And amp and go in, zoom in. Of course, I'm going to use my A key, which I've programmed. Highlight it and listen. That is it. And cut that sucker out. That's not very complicated. Let's listen to that track again. And he listened, sometimes politely, in particular. Okay, so that first one was gone, but there's a one up in here that certainly doesn't stand out to me. Let's see where that is. And he listened. And he listened. Well, this is the he, this is the basic technique I discovered, which was grab the the area where you think it is, zoom in, and then grab this and he listen. Okay, yeah, I can hear it very clearly that it's it's obviously this little area right there. Now, one big problem most people when they start editing is they take out too much of your track. You want to take out as little as possible. So I'm going to press the Z key, which will just which will choose the zero crossings and listen to it with my C key. And he listened some. Okay, that one's gone. So in this case, I would clip it. And he listened, sometimes politely. Ah, uh, something wrong there. So uh, let's try this one here. Pendleton. Oh, I heard a little click in there. Pendleton. Pendleton. Now, <clears throat> Pendleton. Pendleton. I'm going to zoom in much as you can. The, more, the closer you can get to it, the better it is. Pendleton. Ah, there it is. Of course, you lose it sometimes. Pendleton. 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 There it is right there. And when you're going to make your cut, always press your Z key and then press your C key to listen. Pendleton. If, ah, there's a little bit, still a bit low left there. So I'm going to take out a little bit more. There. Pendleton. Okay, that's it, good. This point, I would <clears throat> cut that part out. Pendleton. Ah, good. I like that. Now let's see where this one is. If it was mine, if it was mine, I'm going to do it again. If it was mine, heard that rough spot, whatever that is. Mine. Mine. Many times I'll think it's in a spot. It was mine. It was mine. It was mine. So I have to back up. It was mine. It was mine. It was mine. It was mine. I think it's this part right here. Z, and now I'm going to press the C key to listen to it. If it was mine. Ah, beautiful. You heard that? It's all gone. Not there. Any of course, you can't find it, can we? <clears throat> so apparently that section takes care of it. In this case, I would cut that out. And if it was mine... Oh, good. So the basic technique is not complicated. Or how cold it was. Or how cold it... Or how cold... Well, this one's pretty easy. Back it up. Z. 
Ziki, Ziki, or how cold it was. That takes care of that one. I just wreck it. I just wreck. Ooh, that's that's a nasty one. I just wreck it. Just, just. Okay, I zoom in. <clears throat> just. Then I slowly back up. Just and keep listening. Just. But I'm using my thumb on my space bar to keep playing it. By the way. Just. 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 Oh, that's pretty easy. I would say it's right there. Z key, C key. I just reckon this. Oh man, that is so easy. It's not always this easy, folks. Forgetting for a moment that Mr. Pendle. That Mr. P that Mr. P that Mr. P this one's obvious. Cut that out. That Mr. Pendleton. Pollyanna started slightly. Pollyanna started slightly. There's something up in here. It's like oh yeah, my S has caused me a lot of problems. It's like it's it's. And once again, this is pretty obvious. I was hoping to get one of those hard to find ones. Z key, C key. Pollyanna started slightly. And that one was it would be fixed if I could know where I was. Here we go. Unstep. Unstep. Unst. Unst. Okay, somewhere in this little s s sound here, there's a problem. Unst. 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 Oh, I think there's a problem. Unst. I'm gonna back up. Unst. 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 Well, let's not do that. Wow, it's all up in here, huh? Unstep entrance. Yeah. In other words, you you don't know exactly where they are. I can't tell. I have to keep backing up. I thought it was over here, but by golly, it's over here. Let's listen to that again. Unstep in. Good. Cut that out. Pop. And let's listen. Unstep. Ah, beautiful. So. This is how I do it. I if if it's hidden in usually these S's like this, they're hard to find. Blow them up, back up until you get it, and then cut them out. Thanks a lot. This is Phil Shinovera. Sorry this is so long, and have fun recording for LibriVox.